Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this is an introductory tutorial to working in three dimensions and we're just going to show you some basic concepts that will be the cornerstone of everything you do in 3D. So what I've got here on the screen is just a simple representation of the X and Y axis that you're very familiar with in 2D and if I draw a line from 0, 0 to 4, 3 that's your standard 2D line. But what we're going to do next is add a third number which will represent the Z axis which gives you a third dimension X, Y and Z. So if I draw a line from 0, 0 to 4, 3, 2 that's going to give me a third dimension. So 4, 3 as I'm typing down at the bottom here, 2 and that will raise it up two units in the z-axis positive z is coming towards you out of the monitor and the two lines look the same but they're not so I'm going to switch to a different 3D view which will be my southeast isometric and now you can see the two white lines I drew and they are different so here's the first one I drew and have a look at the bottom left of the screen where I click on the grips it'll show me my position and with the second line I drew it goes from 0, 0, 0 up to 4, comma 3, comma 2 and that point at the end is actually raised two units up in the z-axis even though they both have a common starting point at the origin 0, comma 0. So there you see they look the same and this is where it gets tricky in 3D trying to visualize 3D elements on a 2D monitor and that'll get a lot easier with practice. So I'm going to erase these and I'm going to draw a rectangle just show you another way that that third coordinate can be used in 3D. So I'm just drawing a rectangle 0, 0 to 4, comma 3 and now I'm going to copy it up two units using the same co copy command that you would normally use and so I start the copy command, select my object and I want to move it up two units in the z-axis and that's the z-axis, the magenta line running up and so I should type here at 0, 0, 2 but I forgot the relative at symbol so I'm just going to add it in here and copy it correctly this time at 0, 0, 2 so now I have one rectangle directly above the other and you can see how the corner of it is hitting on the positive z-axis and that corner is 4, 3, 2 and that third coordinate is what makes 3D drawing happen otherwise everything would be at the zero point of the z-axis which would give you essentially a 2D drawing so I'm just going to show you now how rotation in 3D works. I'm just going to start by drawing a circle and instead of using the rotate command I'm going to use rotate 3D and this allows me to add any access to the command. So I select my object and now I'm going to want to rotate it along the Y axis the blue line running across your screen and I have an option there to go X, Y, or Z so I'm just going to type in Y and my, or my point on it will be the origin so I press enter and my angle will be 90 degrees to line it up and you can see how it touches on two points with the Y axis and if I look at the top you'll see that white line represents the circle and it goes along right with the y-axis. So the thing is how did I know how that worked? There's something called the right hand rule used in uh, drafting and it means that if you're pointing towards the positive end of the axis and then your rotation is clockwise along it and it's based on the right hand rule meaning you take your right hand point your finger at the positive end of the axis and your ro fingers will rotate along in a clockwise motion and that's represented here by the positive y-axis 
and the green line represents the positive rotation along the line. Right hand rule and again looking at it in a CAD drawing. So this is just a quick introduction. There's a lot more tutorials coming. I'll have more videos posted and you'll learn how these are used, these techniques are used in 3D work. So thanks for watching. This has been mycadsite.com and goodbye.